You're watching Telecom TV. We are at Industrial Park for BT's Sustainability Festival. Now I'm delighted to be joined by Gabriela Steve Schoman, Managing Director of Research and Network Strategy at BT. So, Gabriela, you've been with BT for a few months now. What are your reflections so far? Well, my reflections is, you know, first of all, I want to say that it's just amazing to work for a, an organization that serves such a strong purpose. Imagine, you know, we're building the networks that, that are underpin uh, societal growth, uh, enabling digitalization. So that in itself is, of course, super exciting. Uh, in addition to that, uh, now the first three months have been very much about getting to know the people, the organization, the opportunities, the challenges, and also to understand how network, the networks of today need to evolve to the networks of the future uh, to serve our customers in the best possible way. And how is BT making its network greener? Number of things. Uh, if I look at networks of the future, uh, we're doing uh, plenty of research around materials, trying to understand different materials in terms of cooling, energy consumption. We're also doing research about resource optimization, spectrum. Uh, but we're also doing a lot of research around digital twins, how we can use AI machine learning for smart build and, and smart operate. So that's for looking into the future, but also looking at today and looking a little bit of what we have in the networks. Uh, we also have a strong focus on decommissioning old technologies. So not only bring installing new technologies that are much more cost uh, efficient in terms of cost per gig, but also energy consumption per gig. Uh, but to really get to those green networks, we have to be able to switch off technologies like 3G, but also uh, our copper networks. And what are the main challenges you see when it comes to sustainability? Well, it's really about bringing the customers with us. Uh, and also, I mean, there are multiple challenges. One of them is is the that a lot of the legacy services, value-added services that go on top of these platforms cannot be replicated uh, on IP networks. It's just simply not possible. And probably they shouldn't be because you have new value propositions, value-add. Uh, so, so that is a big challenge that we are in many ways kind of forced to do it because we're so highly regulated. Uh, so to, find, to try to find uh, solutions is not always easy and that just delays that decommissioning. But then of course also to bring the customers uh, with us. Uh, so those are the big challenges. And how can connectivity bring a more sustainable future? You know, I, I talk about uh, the, the, how digital connectivity has really transformed how we not only connect. So you think about uh, connectivity started by connecting people then we extend it to connecting things. Uh, and today with the technology, especially 5G and fiber, we're not only connecting things, we're enabling those smart interactions, uh, enabling collaboration. It's really when you enable smart uh, insights, actionable insights, uh, collaborations that we truly can scale uh, the green initiatives. And I always say without digital, there is no green. So we're definitely uh, at the core of enabling uh, the digital. Is it possible to see BT's network being fully net zero? I mean, that is that is the objective, uh, of course, but, but it's, a, it's a journey. It's a journey to get there because uh, we rely uh, not only on our own uh, research of how to, to build and operate these networks, but on the broader ecosystem. Uh, our networks consist of, of technologies that we, that we buy. So, so that's why we're working extensively with our suppliers uh, of how they are going to bring, uh, enable us to reach the, that net zero, which is why also we spend so much research effort in understanding the technology so that we can influence not only the standards, the global standards of how we build and operate the networks, but also that we can influence our suppliers. And what are your priorities going forward? Well, the priorities are to right now refreshing uh, our, our network strategy uh, to understand, really understand the so what of these new technologies. We have technologies like quantum, you know, to try to understand how all that is going to impact our customers in, in, in areas like security. Uh, also improve blockchain or AI machine learning, once again, how we build and operate. So that's a priority. So the, the architectures of the future, how to serve our customers with new, uh, new experiences, 
uh, and of course that journey uh, of, of how to, to get there is also a priority to it's I always say that well strategies is, is your north star uh, but you need to have a very solid plan uh, to get there so that is the next step that we're taking as well to kind of break it down saying what are strategic priorities for us uh, automation is one of those areas that is really a strategic priority for us uh, so, so yeah that's what we're working on and lastly, how do you find the right partners to work with when it comes to your sustainability goals? Yeah, you know, so, so I think it's finding the right partners are, of course, those that share our own our core values as well of being uh, responsible, uh, inclusive uh, uh, among them, but also innovative. Uh, and there are multiple things. Uh, one is on the technology side. Uh, one is, of course, on the, the service side and then the general societal side. Um, we, we see ourselves, our role is to be part of ecosystems and partners, but also we see our role as enabling uh, some of these partnerships uh, and ecosystems. So it's really uh, in multiple dimensions. And we select them once again, based on those who, who, who share our own core values and, and our North Stars. Gabriela, thank you very much for speaking with us. Thank you.